Okay, today we're going to take a look at uh, Kenju. She had a PR, I think she said by uh, 16 feet. So let's, let's let this run a couple of times. This, this throw here was uh, over 120. Okay, one of the things I'm seeing is uh, when you land and you're right, right here in the middle of the circle, you're landing just about right in the little, maybe a little bit uh, before the center of the circle. You want to land a little bit farther into the circle. So what I'm seeing is right here, a lot of times people will go upward and over rotate that left foot, see? And the right leg doesn't drive into the circle as, as much. Here the uh, shoulders and chest are facing the throwing sector. And we want to do that for a little bit longer, I think. Let's compare that with uh, Valerie Allman here. Okay. You see how our shoulders are driving into the circle a little bit. You see where her foot lands too. It's uh, past the center. Or past the halfway point. And watch her left knee. See how it stays low? And then the other thing is right here. When her uh, right foot gets to the 9 o'clock position, that's when it's fully extended. Your right leg never gets fully extended. See, it's bent, it's bent comes around and it's uh, bent the whole way. So if you kick that leg out a little bit to right about here and, and it's uh, you straighten it, straighten it right about here, okay? It'll increase your radius, giving you more inertia and uh, it'll drive you into the, across and across the circle a little bit more too, okay? So once you've extended the leg here, then you'll want to lead with the knee as you turn inward. Let's watch Valerie on it. Okay, so it's straight. And then the foot will slow down and come behind or below the bent uh, knee as she accelerates and turns into the middle. Okay. So bent. Kick it straight. Straight, straight. And then it's the foot slows down and drops down below the knee. Okay. But the uh, yeah the other thing is keeping that uh, left knee low as she drives in, rather than going upward. She's going across the circle. Okay, that'll add you a a few feet when you uh, see where your left foot lands right here. You're good two and a half feet. You might be adding to your your distance there. Okay. All right. So another thing I wanted to take a look at is. Uh, the action of your right leg as you come out of the back, you turn your knee inward right here. So the right knee, so your knee, the distance between was pretty close. What you want to do is bring that knee instead of just rotating it around toward nine o'clock is bring it out. Um, if you can get this thigh horizontal, you'll have a, a lot more separation of your knees and you'll be a lot more rotational into the into the center. Let's take a look at Valerie Almond's right leg here. Okay, she's turning left. The right stays on the ground, so you're getting that stretch between your groin muscles there, which is going to turn into a slingshot later. But you see here, her uh, right thigh gets almost horizontal compared to yours, which is almost vertical here. Okay, so she's going to be driving with the wide knees here. And then the distance between your knees, she's going to use to slingshot that right leg into the circle, okay? You can see the difference in that snap, okay? She won't have to uh, drive upward to get her height into the circle. She'll be able to drive across the circle with her feet low. Because you see right here, both your feet are up off in, in the air, no support, flight phase, okay? And here's uh, Valerie Almond's flight phase. The other thing is here when she's pushing off, you can see her uh, shin and her left knee are heading toward the throwing direction. You can see how your 
it back to where your foot's on the ground, right here. You can see how your foot and knee are out here towards almost three o'clock. Okay, so that's gonna stop you from driving across the circle. You gotta lock this left uh, knee and this left shin. Watch how she, he, she holds this like a post right here. And then everything rotates around it. See that? She holds it solid. Okay. She, she gets this uh, left thigh vertical so that the uh, everything can ro rotate around it on the right. Let's take a look at your uh, left thigh. Okay, right here it's vertical. It's good. Okay. I can't see for sure from this angle if your uh, left leg is moving at all. I see the knee coming up. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, right here. When the right foot's down, you want to keep turning that right foot. See how your foot hits and stops? Okay, take a look at Valerie Roman real quick. Okay, the right foot lands and see how it keeps rotating. See how it hits and rotates? Okay, then also look at the angle of the bend in the knee here. Okay. Yours is pretty good, actually. It looks pretty good. Good bend. I couldn't see uh, the body angle, but it looks like you're. Uh, looks like you got a good angle here too. I know we were talking about that. Um, you want to get that discus maybe a little bit higher along your shoulder line, which I would pitch you right about up here. Valley Roman has it above her shoulder, so it's pretty high. But you want to strive at least to have it in line with your uh, your shoulders. So a little bit higher here. Uh, the reason I was looking at your angle is if you didn't have a good angle, if you were too vertical here, having more of a body angle forward would bring that discus up too. But you look like you're fine here. Okay. Right here where the left foot lands, you see the uh, left knee, thigh, this uh, and foot are pointing toward the camera at uh, nine o'clock. What you want to do is land with those that left leg open more toward the throwing direction. I know we talked about that a little bit, but here you'll be able to see Valerie Alma do it. See how her knees are separated here in her power position? Her uh, left thigh, knee, foot are all pointing more toward the throwing direction. Not nine o'clock like yours is. This is going to block you off, okay? And uh, she has uh, more of a lean with her chest facing 12 o'clock here. See your left shoulders open a little bit more. If you can get more uh, separation here with her hips, her hips are facing here at uh, 9, and your shoulders are facing at 12, that's a full 90 degrees of separation. Okay. So if you can work on that, that'll probably help. I like this as the uh, left knee comes down, the right, our left heel comes down, the right knee drives forward right there. That's good. You come off the ground a little bit early. You see here the left leg straighten. Right there. It's a little early. You want the discus is still back here. You want that left leg to uh, extend almost when the discus is getting ready to come out of your hand. Okay, here's the discus. Back here at uh, 3 o'clock, you can see Valerie Allman's uh, left leg is still very bent. Now let's watch her as she uh, straightens that left leg out where the discus is. Okay right there just as she's releasing it it's fully straightened right there okay okay so the timing and she doesn't uh, jump off the ground with the left either you can see it stays flat on the ground you don't never you never quite bring your uh, left heel down now that can be because you're blocked off a little bit because everything was facing uh, the camera here and you have to rotate it or jump in order to get that right around the left you get, you know, a little bit high here. Think about uh, trying to stay low, keeping the right foot low. Watch how Valerie Alman's right foot drags close to the ground forward. See that? And left foot never really gets very high. Okay, she's concentrating on driving forward. 
and you can see how your energy, a lot of it's, when, once you extend that left leg early, everything's going up. Okay. Um, I think that was about it. Let's see. Watch real careful here as we go through. Yeah, I think that's all I had for you. I know you got uh, state in about three weeks, so that's quite a bit to work on. So pick and choose what you want to work on and not with your coach. And I would start with uh, any changes back here at the back first, and then work your way to the front. All right, good luck, and uh, let me know how you do. Thanks.